Hi, it's Amy Cassandra with the Red Carpet Report. We're at the premiere of National Geographic's The Long Road Home. Okay, well, I have to start off by saying that I've seen you on Good Morning America, and it's such an honor to get to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's great to be here tonight. It's an honor to be here tonight. Now, what is it like to, to see this come to life? Because you were part of everything. How, how is that? I think, you know, I started reporting this 13 years ago for ABC, and it was such a powerful, emotional story. So being here tonight, it, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm with my Army family. I'm with the fab, fantastic cast and crew who brought this to life. It's it's. Surreal is the only word I can use. It really is. But I, I think most of all, and, and when I'm asked that question about what it means to me, what it means to me is that we're honoring these guys. We're honoring their families. We're, we're telling the 99% who don't serve what the cost of war is, how, how different people are, how, how everyone's not a superhero in the military. Everyone's not like an action figure. These are regular soldiers who found themselves in an impossible situation and through their own courage and strength found their way out of there. So it is a story of hope too. See, and just just hearing you talk about it, it just it really warms my heart because you get to see these these stories come to life on National Geographic that other people don't know. Were you able to go on set and, and see how they were doing? What was whoa? Going on set and seeing them recreate Sutter City, which I know so well, it, it was so realistic. And, you know, 12 acres of set, more than 80 buildings they created. When, when I first walked on that set, I, I found myself looking around for IEDs and bombs. I mean, I went into sort of war mode and, oh, I need to be careful where I step because it was recreated so authentically. I took one of the Gold Star Mothers down there the last night of shooting, and the actor Ian Quinlan, who plays her son, and I were hugging her and holding her, and we were all crying. And she said, I want to see what my son saw the last night of his life. So it was healing, it was exposure healing for, for these families, and that, that means more than anything to me. Wow. Uh, so while you were in Texas, did you get to experience part of the Texan culture? I love Texas. I've been in Texas so many times now, and had and, and many of the actors are from Texas, so it was great. And and I've been to Fort Hood so many times. <laughs> the um, they, they too, they're they're like a family as well. So well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so for, much. Thank, thank you, you so much for helping us share the story. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling us if you have a family member in the military.